Dear students, in this video we will dis discuss about what is the polaritone. The polaritone are the one that are the forefront of the research in the solid state physics. They exhibit many remarkable and interesting properties uh, like superfluidity and condensation. So, and the polaritone offers the unique possibility to study the quantum mechanics. So, in this video, we will discuss what polariton are and how they exhibit remarkable properties. Guitar is a simple mechanical resonator. When string is hit, it starts to oscillate and produce the sound wave of characteristic frequency or pitch. These specific frequencies are called as resonance frequencies. These frequencies are for which exactly the whole number of oscillation fit between the two clamped end of the guitar string. For a wave with other frequencies uh, other than the resonance frequency, the string try to move at the points where it is uh, where it is clamped down and the wave become very weak so we can say that only the wave with resonance frequency can survive on the string so just like a sound wave of the string just like the sound wave of the string the light wave can also be thought as a sound wave each color of the light has different frequencies corresponding to the different wavelength of the light. So here you can see that this is the spectrum of the visible light. So the visible light has the wavelength range between the 450 to 700 nanometer. Now imagine the two mirrors and these are the two parallel mirrors and this is the mirror 1 and this one is the mirror 2. So these are the two parallel mirrors facing each other. So this is an optical resonator because it confines the light wave by making it bounce back between the mirrors. Just like here you can see that light waves are trapped between the two mirrors just like uh, the sound waves of the guitar strings being trapped between the two clamped end as a result only the resonance frequencies will be uh, will be resonant and be able to survive between the mirrors so smallest possible mirror or uh, smallest possible resonator is the one where the only half of the wave fit between the mirrors just like this one assume that these are the mirrors and these are the this is the mirror and this one is the mirror so only the half of the wavelength fit if fit between the two mirrors so this is the smallest possible optical resonator so this wavelength is less than the wavelength of this wave is less than micrometer so this optical resonator is also called as the micro resonator we can call it as a micro resonator so to make the polariton we need to make um, to make the polariton we need to insert something between the mirrors Let's suppose this is something is the semi any semiconductor. So uh, we can also call it the quantum well. So when we place this quantum well or piece of the semiconductor sheet of semiconductor in between the mirrors, this semiconductor sheet or quantum well which is only a few tens of the atoms thick. So it is very thin. So now, 
and this is called as the quantum well because it can trap the electron between itself so they cannot escape the surrounding region and let's suppose in the semiconductor you know that we have a valence band and we have a conduction band so the, in the valence band the electrons are bound and in conduction band they uh, they can uh, move to the, um, they can these are the loose, lo, uh, loosely bound electrons so when uh, the light of specific frequency we apply the supply the energy of specific frequency to, to this piece of semiconductor so when light hit the electron in the valence band then, then if, if it is of the specific energy then this electron will move from valence band to the conduction band this releasing an energy so here it will create hole and there will be the electron now will be in this state so now we have electron and hole pair so this electron is bound to this semiconductor and it can it cannot maybe we cannot say that it is the free electron now it is bound to the to the hole so we can say that in this is this electron is mm, trapped this is the trapped electron because the electron is uh, here the electron is bound to the semiconductor so when we can say that so if a light wave with the specific frequency with the right frequency pass through the quantum well it can give up its energy to the atom within the quantum well so uh, that uh, can release the electron from atom and it will be bound to creating the frequency we can see relative to the surrounding so this we can see has a positive charge so that's why it is called as hole so here you can see that when light waves these light wave pass through this quantum well and it create a we can see by releasing an electron so it has a positive charge so here here you can see that so hole create a hole is the positively charged and electron is the negatively charged so electron and hole are oppositely charged and they attract each other and for a while they orbit around each other and this behavior form a new particle which is called as exciton so exciton is an of we can say that it's a combination of hole and electron hole and electron and these are combinedly form the exciton so these are oppositely charged and they both revolve around each other and at some time the electron falls back into the hole by releasing the light of the same wavelength of same frequency as the one which originally create, created the exciton you can understand the exciton by considering an example of hydrogen atom in hydrogen atoms you know that it has the positively charged nucleus which has only one proton and electron which is negatively charged revolving around it if we consider the positively charged proton as a whole and electron which is negatively charged revolving around this proton then this hole and electron pair these form the exciton so just like an hydrogen atom similar to a hydrogen atom here the hole which is created when a light wave of specific frequency of right frequency when hits the atom in, the, in this quantum well and release the electron this electron is although it's, it's not free electron this electron is bound to the and to this atom and so it revolve around this positively charged hole and at some time it falls back into the hole by releasing the wavelength of 
same frequency which was used to create the axiton so this is and this is the this is axiton which is the combination of hole and electron so here you can see that in this optical resonant cavity the, this optical resonant cavity can trap the light wave emitted by the axiton so this light wave will uh, hit and other atoms and by creating the electron and hole pair are creating another exciton so that exciton which also decays so we can say that single exciton will be converted into the light wave and which uh, which in turn will be converted into the other exciton and so on so a repeating cycle between the light wave and exciton is made possible since the light and exciton are constantly changing so they can be they behave overall as a new particle which is called as polariton so this constantly changing behavior of exciton into the light and light into the exciton is create the new particle called as the polariton so Uh, this polariton which has the, um, some properties of the light and it has some properties of axiton thanks for watching for more videos please subscribe our channel